Hey guys, it's Black and Ola here. Uh, I want to bring you some Rengar commentary. People have been asking for me to do some commentary because they like my voice. So I'm just going to go through my jungle path. I took him in the jungle. This is Silver 5 for anyone who's curious. I know I'm not that great, but there are a lot of League players in this division. So I feel that me and that majority of people have something to learn. So I'm just going to guide you through my path and just make some comments. And feel free to leave a comment below see how I can improve. This is my first time doing it. No breaks or anything, just kind of winging it. So, started blue. I normally start at red with Rengar, but I wanted to counter jungle. So, I started our blue. Went to the enemy's red. Took it pretty easily. Uh, I see Nasus is just catching up there. And he's going to miss out on that experience. He notices that it's gone. Uh, so, my first objective is to gank top lane. Uh, Jogath, he didn't bring a ward, so it should be pretty easy. He goes in the bush, and he goes down pretty quickly. So, Jace gets first blood, which is pretty awesome. Attacks some CS. And it's time for me to uh, head back, because I'm pretty low and I'm out of potions. So we head back. <coughs> Excuse me. We get uh, we get our uh, Madras for uh, easier procs, clearing jungle camps a lot quicker. And Bot is having a little bit of trouble, so I want to head down there and see if I can make any plays. So we're just going to creep through the jungle here, pick up some more farm, level up. In the jungle, I max Q first for uh, damage. When Rengar goes to gank, people like running in bushes. It's a natural thing they do against a jungler, but against Rengar, it's not that great. You run in a bush, you're just asking to get gap, uh, you're just asking to get gap closed on. Uh, so I chill around the bush, wait till Vayne is in my sight range for an unseen predator, and force her out. But uh, Nasus makes an appearance, so we want to get the get the f out. Peel for easy. Uh, he sh should go, but he dives and gets barrier baited. Blow some summoners, and we clean up there pretty easily. So that was a, uh, a three for a three for two, which is a no three for one. It's a really good trade, and we're gonna push this down super hard. The reason I max Q first is uh, Rengar does ridiculous damage to towers with the uh, damage bonus on his uh, on his savagery. So at all stages in the game. If he's attacking a tower and he's got five ferocity or four ferocity, it's going to go down super quick. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So I grab my bone tooth necklace since I'm pretty ahead. Some boots and a couple health pots keep me up in the jungle because I don't have any lifesteal. Normally I would start a Vampiric Scepter, but it's always helped me to start a bone tooth necklace instead. So I go back, bot again, try and get some kills. Sona does not follow Vayne and pays the ultimate price. Vayne has to chill there and doesn't know what to do. But, <laughs> Silly Fizz is getting gangbanged by Nasus and Vayne. I don't have any, any defense, so I get put down pretty low, and I am forced to be. So I B. I heal back up. I feel good about myself. I'm going to start building towards a Brutalizer. So I get a long sword for that extra 10 AD. And I mosey on back into the lane, into the jungle. Keep farming it up. Now, at points in the game, Ezreal is complaining because I took his kills, but he has harder lane opponent. I always find that some gold split up is better than no gold at all. You'll find a lot of people at this division complain that, oh, look, I need that, I need that 300 gold I'd rather you just do nothing and then then anybody get anything which is really selfish I mean if the AD carry is really behind then I'll let him uh, I'll let him take the kill but I go balls to the wall whenever I gank so if it, if it's a kill or summoners are blown that's a win-win for me but I rarely let rarely let the AD have it because it's like if you don't have the damage to do it I'm not gonna risk a kill getting away just so that you can do anything. So in this case, we get him blow barrier and flash. I was gonna let him have it there, but Vayne is too slippery, so she gets away. It's time for me to be since no moves are being made, but I end up canceling that. Try and see if I can juke Vayne. They have no vision in this bush. So I'm trying to get Ezreal to uh, bait and see they go, they go ham. They follow up and I jump in on them. Vayne is scared. She automatically pushes me away. But Nasus wants... Oh. Nasus and uh, Malazar, they want all of us. 
I don't blame him. You know, this lane is not going very good. And the reason I died there is because I was typing like an idiot, saying that for bot, in the time it took me to type that, five characters, I was altied and CC and I couldn't do anything. So generally good idea to not type, less typing that you're doing, the more playing that you're doing. So that is something you really want to focus on. Use pings, only type when you're dead or you're back at base trying to get back into the game. There's really no point you should be typing at all. You can communicate good enough through pings, back pings, danger pings, all that good stuff. If you're ahead, feel free to type, but there is no reason I should have typed back there. In any case, back to the jungle. We're farming. I got myself a phage instead, because uh, Rengar gets kited pretty easily when there's no bushes around. What's going on up top is Jace is going against uh, AP Cho'Gath, and he's getting rocked pretty hard, and there's nothing I can do. All I do is uh, try and kite him. He does way too much magic damage, and I have no MR whatsoever. So they're gonna have uh, they're gonna have our blue section right there. I'm gonna go up there and just try and push out top because it hasn't really gone anywhere all game, and I haven't really visited top since the first kill. Usually the first lane I gank, I try and stay there just to snowball, but I like trying to appease everybody. The jungling is a selfless job. So I put some damage on the tower. Shogat tickles me just a little bit, and I run away. Those who fight and run away live to fight another day. So I kill the wolf family, I kill Walrus family, I don't, I don't even care. Just need to try and keep up in farm with Nasus because the only difference between me and Nasus late game is Nasus becomes an unstoppable killing machine and I can't do any damage to him. So it's in my best interest to try and finish this as quickly as possible. Don't try and duel Nasus in the jungle. So they're in our, they're all up in our, all up in our shit here. Uh, I activate my ult, try and smite red because they both can kill me. I steal red, but like an idiot, try and duel Nasus while I'm one level below. He pops his ult and I can't do anything about that. That was a foolish death. So for 30 seconds, I paid the price. I need to analyze the other lanes now. So far, what we've got here, there's a lot of magic damage um, from Nasus's ult, um, from Sona Poke, from Malazar, who does a boat, uh, a metric boatload of uh, magic damage, percentage health. So, you know, you can build tanky and he'll still rip you down. I decided to get Mobo Boots. Clear out my jungle again. Try and stay at the same level Nasus is. I am level 10, he's level 11. So when we try and use the pincer technique on Cho'Gath, he's really big so it takes two people to beat him. But unfortunately, Jace knocks him through the wall and fails his flash, enabling him to get away just like Team Rocket in Pokemon. God damn it, Jace. But that's okay. Uh, they both get away, but this leaves me an opportunity to farm more, which is always good. More money is good. So I'm going to head in their jungle, see if I can pick off anything. Red is gone. Golems are there. That's pretty cool. Grab some golems. Cho'Gath is back, and we, we were in no position to fight him, so there's no point in initiating whatsoever. So I'm just going to try and push top out, get that delicious farm, get money, get paper, and try and build towards something that will enable me to pick off squishy targets like Vayne and Malazar in late game because Rengar's team fight isn't that good. He's got no inherent defense outside his ult and his W, which isn't a very good um, defense steroid, especially when there's more than one person. So I take out this tower to avoid aggro. Joe got Feast Ignite, but I get lucky and <laughs> leave with about 15 health remaining and run out of here. Nasus, on the other hand, wants to follow me hell or high water so he's gonna come up from behind and try and give me and uh you know they've got their jungle slightly warded and i'm walking through bad territory around i see dragon river is warded but i get away let's fight another day i'm gonna try and heal up off some jungle creeps which i do and i decide i should back but hey nobody's down here so what better opportunity than the farm right if you can farm be old mcdonald's farm the shit out of everything. Rengar's a great split pusher. This is all free CS. Uh, normally I'd be in the jungle trying to make plays, but you see, I saw a couple people in lane, so I just took an opportunity. At this point in the game, I thought that someone was coming. I could have kept pushing because it was only Sona, but Nasus appeared from behind and he would have had his way with me sexually if, uh, if I stayed there, so I thought it was best to back up. 
I'm gonna try and uh, rush a Trinity Force here. I feel like that's my best course of action. Modified Q damage with Savagery is just, is too good to pass up. And the chasing potential is really, really good. So I pick up a Zeal and try and avoid Nasus. Try and pick up Blue because it just spawned. Nasus saw me leave towards it, so he spirit fires, but I pick up blue before he does anything, so he's out of luck. Sorry, Nasus. And, you know, we try and hold him off mid. As you can see, our team comp, we're not really in any position to start any team fight because of uh, Cho's Rupture and Sona ult. Vayne ult, Malazar ult. They have much better initiate, much better people than we do. The only thing we have is uh, the knockback from Jace, <clears throat> Bola from me, and Tarek stun which we use to fend off Nasus, but very last second. Tarek is not so outrageous, unfortunately, and he gets taken down pretty easily. But we were all able to live because of him, so said a little prayer for him. But he's back up in 15, it's all good. So we really can't do anything about this engage right here. We're just gonna have to sit here and take it. But we clear it out, we don't lose a tower or anything. Uh, we don't have any vision in our jungle either, so we have no idea whether they're fighting, whether they're taking our farm, whether they're being um, we're not in a great position right now. Uh, the game is 4K in their favor. Kills are pretty even. I try and see if I can pick off anybody and I'm successful. Ezreal steals my kill, but hey, kill secured. What matters is that I got that bone tooth necklace stack, which will give me buffs as the game goes on, as you guys are well aware of. So I continue to farm. So I'm getting some pretty nice crits, thanks to uh, Zeal. Crit chance isn't very high, but the damage modifier is really good and the chase potential is awesome. So I really recommend Trinity Force on anyone you need to chase, whether it be Ezreal, um, Rengar, you know, people that rely on auto attacking. It's really good. And he's he has an AP scaling on his on his W, so it's the perfect package. The mana's wasted, but that's okay. Now like an idiot here, my balls are too big, I decided. And I try and duel Vayne under tower, but she's just too powerful for me. Let's try and juke her in the bush. I need my health up, I don't have any life steal. So I heal up, juke her, try and finish her. It's really close. She still had barrier, unfortunately, I did not know. If not for that, I would've killed her. But good guy Fizz cleans up for me and I get that extra 150. So it's a net, it's 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 a net gain of zero. I didn't lose it, I didn't lose anything. I got I lost a stack, then gained a stack. Meanwhile in the jungle, we're taking out trying to take out the uh, purple team, but Chogath has Tarek for breakfast, unfortunately. So I'm back up. I finally got my Trinity Force. I'm super fast. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Paint me blue and give me chili dogs. I'm good to go. So I try and keep my farm up. Uh, me and Nasus are even now in levels. And uh, we're pretty even in CS. See Nasus trying to uh, get away from this team fight. Didn't work out. So this gives us a op perfect opportunity to uh, take Baron Nash. Uh, see Vayne has vision of us in the bush, but it would be foolish for her to uh, try and engage us so I try and chase her but she got away I thought she went left she got away for another day but I'm I'm gonna have some fun with her later so we push top there's an opportunity there little did I know that Fizz backed so here I am thinking guys we have to do this it's 5v4 but Fizz went away so Sona gets us from behind I flash a crescendo we get a kill we get a kill and a tower but Vayne decides that she's had enough and kites everybody takes us down Malazar gets a triple and it's a four for one. It wasn't worth it at all. Had we known Fizz had left, we wouldn't have engaged there. But we got the tower, so that enables us to roam a little bit more. Meanwhile, Fizz is uh, defending from Cho'Gath. Can't really do anything about that. So we've got some heavy AP damage, and uh, Cho is pretty tanky. We can't kill him. Malazar will one-shot anybody that gets caught under ultimate, so we have to be very careful here. So give Jace blue, because he needs it more than I do. I pick up Yomu's and I see Vayne and she gets eaten for dinner. <clears throat> gets eaten for dinner. Sorry about that. Sorry to Vayne. I mean, she shouldn't have been there. There's no reason that the AD Kara should have been in our jungle. She had no vision whatsoever. I mean, we didn't have vision either, but it's a good example and good reason for you to not go into enemy territory without a ward. There's no reason. But because our team fight's really bad, I want to try and force top so they have to come for me. Like I said earlier, Rengar is super great at split pushing. 
So I'm gonna use this opportunity to push as much as possible, get this free CS, because I don't need to be in the jungle. I try and force uh, our enemy to come over here. Uh, Cho'Gath is frantically trying to stop me, and he can clear just as well as I can. So when he, while he's going top, I'm, I am uh, transitioning back to mid, and as soon as I see him again, I go right back top, just like clockwork. And that's gonna force somebody else to try and come back and stop me. Now with my Trinity Force Prox, every time I kill a minion, I get 60 move speed. So it's gonna be really hard to get me. Get some autos in the tower and just kite Cho. Can't really do anything outside of Q. Fizz gets a kill on uh, Nasus, uh, but Malazar shuts down Fizz and Vayne is putting in work. In fact, our team gets destroyed. So it's just me. But that's okay. I see Sona by herself, even though she has oracles. She had no chance. I have a lot of burst right now, a lot of move speed. There's no way she was getting away. So I take down top tower. I take down bot, uh, bot outer. So we are getting, getting pretty close to uh, their base, little by little. In in situations like these, when you're playing junglers that rely on auto attack, like Master Yi, Trindamir, Rengar, who, or whoever. And your team fight presence is pretty bad. Like, if I was playing Master Yi, I would be in team fights a little more instead of uh, split pushing. But Rengar, it's just easier to split push. If your team can hold their own, definitely pull a trick 2G. Definitely disregard your team and just try and split push when possible. Try and make a play here. Sony gets picked up pretty easily. Your objective as Rengar is just to kill one target and just run away. Let your teammates do the rest. So I keep getting these assists, I keep getting stacks, I'm up to seven stacks of Bone Tooth. We're pushing into their base, trying to uh, trying to end. A Baron's up in a little bit, so is Dragon. We haven't taken any Dragons this game, except for maybe one, and that even may be a lie right now. I probably, I think Nasus took three by this point. So objective wives were pretty easy, one Baron to, uh, were pretty even, one Baron to three Dragons. Ezreal uh, does not have a good day. And they're actually uh, killing us in their jungle, so we need to get away. Uh, Jace thinks I'm going to help him, but it was too risky. I didn't want to give them a double kill, so I just had to run away, divert them. They're going to use this opportunity to push mid because they need to do something. They have an open top inhibitor. They're not going to be able to let that slide. But jump on Vayne, activate Yomu's. We take down Vayne pretty quickly, but at the same time, I get knocked down. So it was worth one for one. Malazar was who I was aiming for, but, you know, you take what you can get in this game. I'm sure you guys all know that, too. So I'm dead for another 30 seconds. Looking at the items, other team's pretty tanky. Nasus is going for um, Trinity Force as well. He's got the Sheen, and he's got Mallet. He's got Randuin, so he's pretty hard to kill. Has a lot of, uh, a lot of armor. Cho's got Frozen Heart, more armor there, attack speed debuff. He's also got Hourglass, so... He'll be able to initiate, and then even if we focus him, he'll be able to hourglass and just avoid the, that damage for two seconds, which is kind of overkill. In any case, it's almost time to put it away. You see the score is pretty even. It's 30 all. It's five towers to seven uh, purple team. And it's only a 1k gold deficit, so this is a pretty even match. Uh, but we have uh, got the tower advantage, so we're able to roam a little more. So that was our first dragon of the game, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, they open up on our team, we take down Malazar, Sona, and Nasus. And they're like, oh, we should do Baron, we should do Baron. No, uh, let's end. Uh, why throw when you don't have to? So my team takes down top. I take down mid with ease, take out the inhibitor. So we got top inhibitor exposed, mid inhibitor exposed. They've got three people down. There's really nothing they can do here. All I gotta do is kite, try and make plays, activate Yomus. Cho'Gath goes gold, and uh, that's it for him. Now, uh, the AIDS is spreading from Malazar, but we're able to get away thanks to a nicely timed acceleration gate from my boy Jace. I take their red heal up. Uh, by this time, I've already gotten the last Whisper, so I can do some pretty sick damage here. So I just crit for 1400. So that's a great thing about uh, Rengar that I'm really worried about them changing is um, how his Q is working. It's just a, a big chunk of bonus AD and then you can stack that to just rip through somebody's health. So we're going to we're going to take Baron again for free. There's nothing they really can do about it. So you take Baron pretty easily and we're going to push for the win. Vayne is top by herself. She really shouldn't be. She should be hanging with the team. So I'm going to pressure top again cuz their inhibitor respond and try and take it out again pretty simply. 
So I'll just let you watch. We take that out pretty easily. Fizz initiates on the Cho'Gath. Sona gets four of us. I all end aim for uh, Malazar. Gets taken down. And I run out of there because I am still pretty weak when it comes to defense. But my team, like the bros they are, take them out pretty easily. <coughs> it's a three for none. And we win the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. I know it was a little rough and tumble, a little quick. But there's going to be more of this uh, as I find bad and good games. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you have any feedback, feel free to drop a comment in the box below. And I'll see you next video. Have a good one. Have a good life.